expecting I was expecting uh, at least another five of those guys to clear Naj, one of them being um, man David Cavanaugh looked so strong really uh, really happy to have at least five going and I'm excited to see what they can do out there yeah absolutely and we had our first female clear of stage one which is incredible and we had Vivian here talking to us uh, really awesome uh, person where she was talking about the experience of being in Australia and everything and how she loves the community and I'm telling you I got chills again because we were talking about another thing that's just so cool about this community she was saying how the community is amazing over there just like it's over here and how she's inspired coming over here to do more ninja I invited her up to New York Carl so uh, hopefully we'll get some playtime with some more of the Australians well, you, know, you know Olivia has been to the Warrior Factory you know? get out of here she, has? Yeah. She, she made a special trip um, right before the Wolfpack tour uh, this past year there you go and uh, she cool. came in and she says honestly she goes, I'm in Rochester New York because of the Warrior Factory so that was wow. pretty darn cool I'm not going to lie having that's her there amazing. To, to shout us out like so that. we've got Brett Sims going through the course here so you can see in the background while we're talking uh, just keep enjoying watching uh, Brett go through um, what is going to be the course here that we're going to see in just a couple of minutes and we're going to see it back to back with 30 seconds max break oh, between nice. so lots of fun so let's go back to our conversation yeah so Brett Sims again super strong athlete that went out earlier in the competition on something you know that he could it was the salmon ladder you know something that he could have done in his sleep pretty much you know just a silly thing but here he goes you get to see his strength watch I mean watch how effortlessly right through the steps Look about smooth. so this is again this is a demo of what our five athletes that have made it to stage three are gonna have to do Justin I see there's something on the side there the 30 second countdown is that in between each obstacle is that the max great question so uh, thanks to our amazing ninja works timing system that is the countdown right there you have 30 seconds in between obstacles and then you get the main running timer that you can also keep track of right all your data is right there in one place very cool that, that, that Carl from Ninja Works is amazing. Yes. <laughs> and I just got to look he's, over at him. He's, he's right over wink. here. We're winking. <laughs> he paid me a couple bucks to say that. So I'll collect on that later, Carl. So, so uh, here's the cliffhanger. Quickly, Chris, how did it feel running the course yesterday? I honestly, I felt really strong. I, and just sometimes that one obstacle that you are least worried about is the one that takes you out. And for me, it was the rolling log yesterday. So I was about the least. Uh, worried about that one, and you know what? Unfortunately, what? Yeah. To overlook it, and that's it humbles you. And that's how ninja is. It doesn't matter how easy or how hard an obstacle is. Sometimes, you know, you you got to have a plan for every yeah. single one of them. And uh, unfortunately. And you know what? The plan failed to we yesterday. Have, we right now have 229 athletes that came into town. Wow. That are frustrated with disappointment. You know? Yeah. We've got five still alive. Some of these guys could still come out of here with disappointment. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a part of the ninja experience and learning to deal with it because that is truly a part of life. Yeah. It's a very unforgiving sport, that's for sure. <laughs> it is. And I'm watching Brett go through this course. Wow. Look at that. That's a wide grab. Look at that. You have to lock off in order to just get on the obstacle. They're not giving anything to you. So this is incredible. Let's backtrack for a second. He just did a really long span of roulette cylinder right into this, um, into this uh, circuit board. And with that wide reach, and this is this is after co completing how many obstacles so far? I haven't been keeping track, but this is brutal. Actually, looks like in the on the right there. Oh, there you go. There's the counter. Thanks. Yeah, pointing out in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You can see now it's six that he's completed. We go. And so this is the monster hold peg ball alley that uh, that Ninja for a Cure is sponsoring. The gift to the the winner, the person that completes this the fastest. There he is. He's clearing it. That's a seriously hard obstacle. And you can see he's getting come a little... down to the ground yet. No, yeah, nope. No, That's you the... do not get to. Once you start this uh, this run, this 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 is run one four circuit all the way through. Up in the air the whole time. Wow! Finally, it gets Man. to come down. What he feels like is 30 minutes later, I'm sure. <laughs> and there he goes. Only 20 seconds left to start the next section. I'm sure he's taking all of that. Yep. Time. 14 yeah, seconds. Yeah, it's a smart move to, to definitely be shaking it out in this time and use it. You know, unlike in the other por portions of the competition where speeding through these points may actually help you, there is no advantage really 
in stage three. You can use that full 30 seconds as much as you want. Yeah, there's, there's no, shake there's it out. No time on this, uh, this because it's untimed other than that 30 second break. Yeah, right. You might see one of the you might see one of the later competitors uh, if you do get a couple of clears start pushing themselves a little more and not taking all the time to uh, to try and take home that top prize. But we'll have to see how that works out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so maybe trying to make it the furthest, but not necessarily complete, right? Oh, that's true. So that is some way that we could see people skipping past that 30 second rest. Right. And guys, it is not yet over when he gets to this point. He's then got to go to the cliffhanger. Going back to the talk about vertical limit. So see that cliffhanger? Imagine that like a quarter of the size. Wow, look at him fight. Come on, Brett. He's fighting through. He's fighting through. Oh, close. Wow. He's in there starting to go. Great job from Brett Sim.